This is the third lesson with the EMA. Uh, today we will be dealing with uh, the ask, the bid, and also the difference between the two, which is uh, the spread. If we get time, we might uh, get on to leverage, or there will be a separate video on that. Okay, and I'll also make a video about JPY pairs because uh, we didn't quite get into calculation of pips and points when coming to JPY pairs because uh, the YAS is different. They have two or three depending on whether you use points or pips and uh, numbers after the decimal point. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's get into this lesson. Uh, let's start with a recap. You see, we have a base and a quote in a currency pair, right? Uh, and uh, remember, this is Forex. This is Forex. Uh, it's part of the market, the online market. Remember, a market is where people gather uh, with the intention of buying or selling goods. So, what happens in Forex is no different. This is the market. We buy and sell goods. Just that it's online and those goods are currencies or currency pairs because they move in currency pairs. <coughs> Sorry for that. They move in currency pairs. So, right now, before you, you see a currency pair. Euro USD is a currency pair. So this euro USD will have a price on the market. But then remember, this price, as we mentioned before, the price, okay, let me start with this pair, will have a price. That's why we will sell or buy this pair, because there's price involved. So there will be a buying price and also a selling price. So, what will happen? <coughs> I'm sorry, my voice uh, keeps uh, getting rough. So, what will happen is that uh, this pair will have a price, as I mentioned before. I want you to get this. I want you to get this. Because uh, many people get lost uh, at this point. We have a price, as mentioned before. So, with this price, remember that we are in a market, a forex market, whereby we buy and sell currencies. We won't be doing the same thing. Not everyone who participates in the market will be doing the same thing. The same thing I'm meaning, uh, I mean buying or selling. Because if everyone was uh, either buying or selling, like at the same time, like we just decided to all buy, the market would crash or if we decided to all sell the market would crash so what keeps things uh, in balance is the buying and selling that's why we have people who make profit that's why we make people who make loss it's business forex is a business just like uh, when selling clothes or buying uh, clothes selling food all those things just that right now we do things online and we focus on currencies that's forex it's no scam it's a legitimate uh, business you just have to know when to buy and to sell that's the strategy but then before we get to that let's focus on this before we get to uh, when you should buy or sell let's uh, let's deal with the concept Let's understand what this is. So we have Euro USD <clears throat> and we have a price for this currency pay. But then, as I mentioned, uh, we have buyers and we also have sellers. Not everyone will do the same thing. So this means there will be two prices. There will be two prices to this currency, to this currency pay. There will be two prices. Note, note this. There will be two prices because the market is not composed 
of uh, people who are headed in the same direction. Others are buying and others are selling for different reasons. People are buying, people are selling this currency pair. Not everyone is buying, not everyone is selling. It can never happen. That's human mentality, that's psychology. That's why there's the psychological part of the market which we have to understand. So, with that being said, let uh, let me make an example of the prices. Let's say we have Euro USD as it is. Let me put it uh, up there. We have Euro USD. So you will see two prices. Even when we go on demo, you will see uh, that there are two prices. We uh, see we have one point. Don't know why I like this number, but it's easy to work with. So uh, I don't know which uh, which format to use points or pips but then I'll, I'll, I'll stick to pips because I like using pips <clears throat> then you, uh, in some cases you might find that they are saying this the 5.9 the 5.9 simply means uh, that uh, the 5.6 has been increased by 3 pips there isn't much change except for uh, the pips. So it's 1.3, so it will be like this. 4, 5, 6, and 1.3, 4, 5, 9. Please don't confuse this. And say it's this. No, we are on a different case. We are on a different case. This, this here is this. Just that uh, I wrote it in full. And uh, both these things are the price for this. I hope I hope I, I made sense. Both uh, these things are the price for the currency pair. So, like I said, there are two prices. Hence, you see uh, 1.3456 and 1.3459. It's two prices for the same currency pair. I'll explain why. Uh, uh, although I already explained, I'll just uh, try to approach it from another angle on why you might you find two different prices for the same currency pair so uh let's scratch this whole thing out say the euro usd so we said we will have uh this price And also this price. It's for the same currency pair. Four, five, nine. These prices are what we call the bid and the ask. These are what we call the bid and the ask. So, what will happen with the bid? The bid is going to be the price you get for selling. When you are selling, I'm talking about you. We are not yet uh, talking and we won't go into talking about who's selling to you because it will only confuse you more. We are talking about you right now. Like I said, we focus on the important parts of... Uh, of this whole forex thing if you want uh, in-depth explanations whereby we'll have to sit down and talk uh, this through 
up until the very, very beginning, then you'll just have to join us in premium so that I can give you everything you want to know. Even though some are useless, if you want it, I'll give it to you. But then right now, I'm giving what's important. This is what's in Because sometimes uh, people, it's not that people don't understand. It's just that we, we chase to get, a, okay, all knowledge is powerful. But then there's uh, some knowledge which has to be filtered until you reach a certain point where you are ready to receive that knowledge. At this stage, I cannot be explaining uh, the core parts of uh, of uh, Forex. I'll just uh, explain the surface which will make you successful. And as you uh, start being successful, that's where you can dig in deeper. You can dig in deeper to find what you want. Because right now, if you try and get deep into things, you might get lost. So yes, we are already deep, but then uh, not as much as you think. So uh, now we come to the ask. Now we come to the ask. Sorry for zoning off. Sometimes I get lost. Always want to motivate so i get lost okay we are at the ask the ask price this is the price which you get for buying when you buy this currency pair they will give it to you at this price when you buy they will give it to you at this price and when you sell they will give it to you you are going to sell so you are going to sell at this price so the, the that's the bid and the ask let me repeat <clears throat> as i said we have euro usd this is a currency pair in forex this is a currency pair for this pair there will be price Remember, we're in a market. There will be prices. Because not everyone is, uh, is willing to buy and not everyone is willing to sell. There are those who are willing to buy, those who are willing to sell this currency pair. So, what will happen is that two prices will be formed. There will be two prices for the same currency pair. There will be the selling price and also the buying price. And the buying price is usually higher than the selling price when you are on the other side of the market. The buying price is usually higher than the selling price. So we will have something like this. Let me just use a uh, random numbers, then something like this. Let's this is the buying price, this is the ceiling price. This is the price you get when you buy. This is the price you will buy with. This is the price you will sell with. This currency pair. At that moment, when you want to buy, you will buy it for this price. When you want to sell, you will sell it for this price. This is, is, is in simple terms. This is the selling price and the buying price for this currency pair here. I hope we are on the same page. So, like I said before, this sell price will be called the bid. Then this buy price 
will be called the ask this is the bid and the ask it's the same currency pair but then with different prices so meaning if you are a seller because remember in the market there's sellers and there's buyers we have sellers and we have buyers so if you are a seller this is the price you will be selling at this price right here if you are a buyer this is a price you'll be buying at so this leads us to spread this leads us to spread if you don't understand uh, repeat or rewind to this uh, portion so uh, we have the bid and the ask the difference will be called the spread okay let's get to this f euro usd we have two prices So, what you will see right now is that these uh, prices have uh, a difference in pips. If uh, you use the material, the material from the last video, or the knowledge for that matter, from the last video, you will see that there's a difference between these two numbers. They differ by four pips. They differ by four peeps. That is what we call the spread. <clears throat> the spread for this price is four peeps. The spread is the difference between the bid and the ask price. That's the spread. It's the different. It's the difference between the bid. And the ask price spread okay let me just try right immediately spread as the different it's the different between the bid and the ask their difference it will the difference will give you the spread just like uh, uh the sir asked before how do you set the spread we don't set the spread now i'm going to talk about the people who set the spread the people who set the spread the people who actually give you prices or who provide a platform for you to uh, buy or sell currency pairs so we are done the spread is simply the difference between the bid or ask or the ask or bid that's the difference let's just see uh, let's make an example <clears throat> you have an ask price of uh, 1.675 then you have a bid price of one point uh, let's see <coughs> six seven three two your spread will be the difference between the two your spread sorry for that your spread will be the difference you will subtract you will subtract 
so your spread will be 1.67 sorry for that the spread is not in price the spread is in pips so the spread is 3 pips because we are dealing with pips if uh, they happen uh, to be or it happens that uh, you find your prices in points that means your spread will be 30 points it's no longer 3 pips and remember 3 pips is equivalent to 30 points so it's one of the same thing just that the difference is that now uh, the price is in points it's no longer in pips <coughs> so let's get uh, to these people who give us the spread that's what we call brokers now we get into brokers brokers one thing i can tell you never think a broker is your friend never trust anyone who befriends a broker yes they may give us education and a platform and all that but then never trust these people brokers never trust anyone who's working with a broker what you should do the only thing you should do is kill these people you should kill these brokers not literally but then i mean make profit from these brokers so uh <clears throat> what uh these brokers are they are the link between us as participants and uh, the entire online market so they will give you <clears throat> a platform the brokers provide a platform and for providing you with that platform it's either they will charge you commission or spread for trading these brokers are sort of the middleman. There's you, there's the broker, then there's the market. But then we have different types of accounts which uh, we will get into later on. We have the, the STP, the ECN. We have different types of accounts offered by these brokers. <coughs> so generally a broker will uh, give you the platform, will give you access to the market and what you should do in order to gain that access is you have to open an account with them opening an account with them uh, is, is not a, it's not a scam activity unless uh, the broker is unregulated so with a regulated broker it's what you should do you have to have a broker in order to trade you cannot dodge these people so yes we do need them although we should uh, we are against them so these brokers they will give you an account to trade and for giving you that they will charge you what we call commission if they are ecn or they will uh, give you a spread Remember, a spread is a difference between uh, the bid and the ask. Though these are the people who will uh, give you those prices. Unless if it's ECN, if it's ECN, you get uh, direct access to the liquidity in the market. But with uh, these guys, you will uh, you get a spread if uh, it's not an ECN account. An ECN account has relatively tight or low spreads or no spreads at all on certain uh, pairs. So brokers, they are the ones who will give you the bid and the ask price. They are, they are the ones who will give you the currency. They are the ones who will give you the currency. They will say uh, for a Euro USD. When you decide to sell, when if you want to sell this pair, remember we sell based on our analysis or if your mentor or signal provider tells you to sell. Whatever reason you have for selling, the broker will give, let's say, will give it to you at this price. 
if you want to sell even if you go to the charts those who are already trading you'll already see that uh, if you sell your price is lower your price is lower on those uh, two lines the bid and the ask line they give you the lower price for selling and if you buy this is for sale or oh, it's the, the bid and if you buy they will give you they will give it to you at uh, let's see this price I give you at this price for buying then you will find uh, your spread written I'll just say it's the spread the spread you will find uh, find written three because that's the difference that's the difference between uh, the sell and buying price or the bid and ask price so these brokers will give you uh, the price for this currency pay this is their price for this currency pay so now you know about a broker remember you you'll need a broker though you may hate it uh, you'll need it just because you hate it doesn't mean that you you won't need it if you don't need it then you you, you don't trade so you'll need you'll need to find a broker what you can do show that you hate it or you hate these brokers is make profit from them because they don't want us to profit they don't although they act like uh, they want us to profit <laughs> but then you, you'll see these things as you gain more knowledge and experience in trading you'll see these things you'll see these things okay and brokers are human too so everyone wants to make profit so it's either you or them so everyone wants to save their skin so that's why i'm saying brokers will also try by any means possible to make something they are not wrong for that just like you want to make something from the market they also want to make something but then uh, unfortunately uh, if we all win in the market <laughs> the market will crash that's why I said earlier, if we all buy or we all sell, the market will crash. So there has to be someone who is uh, on the other end of the stick. So there has to be someone who is taking an, an L. So uh, we were still on to brokers and them giving you price. We're still on to brokers. They will give you the platform. They will give you an account. Uh, they will charge you spreads or commission on your trading if they don't charge you for spread if they don't charge you for spread uh, what else do they do okay you know that you have to murder these guys and uh, I think uh, that, that, that's enough for today's lesson I think that's enough okay they also give you leverage they also give you leverage they will open an account for you they also give you leverage that's one of the good things about these guys they give you an account they allow you to access the market uh, they also give you leverage leverage is a boost which is what we said uh, we will deal with which is what we said we will deal with when uh, we will deal with on the next video leverage leverage it's also confusing if you thought uh, that uh, the lessons so far are confusing then you still have something coming but then I'm trying to break it down you know, to the simplest level so that you can ex you can understand guys we all have to get something from the market that, that, that that's my that's our main wish as the EMA we'd like to see everyone winning although like I said it's it's uh, it's somewhat impossible but then as much people as we can get to win we will try we will push 
to make you guys uh, on the winning end of your trade. You have this financial freedom is here. Okay, let me not get into all this talk. That, that's enough for today.